We're getting into winter, so it can only mean one thing. Time to get a gaming PC to survive the next few months. Today's video is brought to you by Radiant PCs. Head to our website at radiantpcs.com.au to check out our wide array of ready to ship gaming PCs. Today we're building our NZXT starter. Today's case is the NZXT H510 Flow white with a matte finish. With a glass front and a spacious interior, this build allows for excellent component visibility. One of the benefits of the NZXT H510 Flow, rather than the traditional H510 model, is the mesh front. It allows for better airflow and alleviates some of the problems with temperatures that have plagued NZXT models. The case has space for two exhaust fans, so you can pump hot air out of the build, and then through the front, we have the front intake with the mesh, providing cold air into the build. And as you can see finally, the NZXT H510 Flow makes it easy for cable management, plenty of guide rails, zips, ties, different spaces for you to run cables, keeps it all clean at the back and from the front. I really quite like this motherboard. It has a few additions which really give it an upgraded look. Having the SSD cover is great. Gives it that solid black finish, along with the two heat sinks. Keeps temperatures down just that little bit. For the RAM, we've got 16 gigs of white T-Force. Comes with the RGB top strip and a clean matte finish. T-Force produces quality RAM. We've always found that it hits XMP and the RGB lighting on the top is always clear and bright. For the SSD, as the base spec, we've got the 500 gigabyte M.2 NVMe from Crucial. It's a simple, good quality piece of kit. Considering it's NVMe, it provides decent upload and download speed. And with 500 gigs of storage, it provides plenty of space for, for games and other applications that you have on the computer. With all our PCs, we have plenty of upgrade options. You can take this all the way up to two terabytes. And then with our secondary storage with the hard drive, you can either get a one, a two, or a four terabyte. Now here's the interesting part with this build. You can either go with the inbuilt graphics from the AMD Ryzen 5 5600G, or take it up a notch and go with the RTX 3050. We brought this gaming PC out originally during the GPU crisis. I mean, graphics card prices were soaring, so we wanted to provide customers the opportunity to get a, a decent budget rig that could still perform 1080p gaming without the heavy price tag. And also if they wanted to in the future, once prices normalize, select a regular standalone GPU. However, even if you want to use the inbuilt graphics from the 5600G, you can still get really solid performance. 5600G can perform fairly similarly to the early model 10 series GPUs. For this build today, we're going to be slotting in the RTX 3050, just the regular gigabyte version. We believe here that it has the right balance between performance and appearance. It can go a bit cheaper with the Eagle model, although it sacrifices the third fan. And all around, it's a fantastic card for the current AAA titles. You'll get solid high settings 1080p gaming. And for the finishing touches to this build, we've got the Dark Flash DR12 Pros. It's a simple black and RGB fan with the RGB outer ring, completely remote controlled, and has a variety of modes and colors for you to choose from. We're also gonna include a common add-on for our customers, which is the sleeved cables. Provides that extra premium quality feel and look to a PC, and it's an available option with all of our computers. And now it's time to get into the building. Sound.com. Well, ladies and gents, that's the end of all the building. We run the PC through all the required stress testing and quality control to ensure it's up to scratch. This rig has got all the premium features, metallic finishes, plenty of fans, and subtle RGB throughout. So let's start playing some games. Today we're going to be playing Fortnite and EU4 just to run it through on 1080p, high, and epic settings. We'll check the FPS and quality on both. Let's jump right in. First, we're going to get all the settings to epic. The gameplay is nice and fluid. I'm not really detecting any frame rate drops. We're hovering around 75 FPS. Even at the 99% FPS, we're still not really seeing any wild fluctuations, which is clean. Oof, get banked. Just gonna turn the settings down now to high. See how we go. At high settings, we get a nice jump up in FPS, hovering around 95 to 100. Same situation with Epic, we get no real frame rate drops. Everything is nice and fluid. Well, our next game is EU4. A pleasant change for me from all the we're not getting any stutter despite a bit of action on the screen. E4 is a fairly CPU intensive game, and there's no noticeable limitations on that end. In games like this where it's not necessarily as FPS intensive, this GPU and CPU offer a fantastic experience if this is your game and you're craving a bit of world domination. 
So there you have it. There's the performance of the NZXT starter. I'm very happy with how it ran, and I'm sure you will too. Starting at 999, this PC is a great budget option that you can customize to perform and look how you wish. Find it on our website in the link down below. Inside.